Good evening, <coughs> YouTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video. I think it's been about 22, 23, 24 hours. <coughs> Today is March the 1st, 2023. <coughs> it is 6.50 in the evening. And uh, today we had some sunshine. It was nice weather. It was 46 degrees, but it was supposed to snow and have rain Thursday and Friday and clear up Saturday. I made a video, Book Nook Part 1, and Thrift Store Books. And what I'm going to do in this video is just show you some books, I use books, that I recently bought at the Book Nook, which is, as you all know from watching my videos, I volunteer at the local library, use Bookstore the Book Nook, and they've been taking books out of circulation. And I look for them because you never know what you're going to find. And some of these books I found in the bookstore, but most of them were withdrawals from the library and when I go to volunteer before I open the store or while I'm at the store I go in the back and see what has been taken out of circulation and then I ask the lady who runs it how much these things cost and sometimes there one book I have here I bought from the store itself inside the book nook but most of these I uh, I bought before they got into the store. <laughs> First of all, uh, so I'm just going to show you the, not all the. These are the ones I think I haven't shown in a video. I don't. I can't remember what ones I showed in Book Nook, used book haul number one. But this is Book Nook used books. I'm not showing you any thrift store books. I'm going to show those in a separate video. I'm just going to show you what I got from the book nook. So this is book nook used book haul number two. First of all, I picked up Saul Steinberg, a biography by Dere De Blair. She's wrote, uh, she's written several famous biographies. Her, she won the National Book Award for her biography on Samuel Beckett. And she what? And she's written other biographies that I have in my library: Simon du, Simone du Bouvier, Samuel Beckett, Young. She wrote a biography. Annis Neen. And I didn't know she wrote this one. He was a cartoonist or an artist for the New Yorker for many years. We've all seen his. Um, so this is a biography on him. And also, this was in the book nook I bought. This is Saul Steinberg's At the New Yorker. And it's, if you're familiar with the New Yorker, you've seen his kinds of drawings on the front covers. And his, his cartoons, he has a very distinct style of his drawings. As you all know, I'm a collector of writers and cartoonists for the New Yorker. And so this cost me $9 for this book. It's a library withdrawal. And uh, so it goes along with the biography. And then I, I bought this into the book nook. This is a brand new book. It's not a library withdrawal. Somebody donated it. But I read it about it last year. It's almost brand new. Indigenous Continent, an epic contest for North America. But I can't pronounce the name. But I wanted this book. I, I read about it last year. And it sounded very fascinating. And I was surprised. There it was in the book nook. And so it cost me seven dollars, <laughs> so it was kind of expensive. But it's a brand new book. It goes for forty dollars new. <laughs> and it's brand new, two thousand twenty-two. And then I picked up. This is a library withdrawal. This is a biography on Wallace Steigner, 
and the American West. I collect his novels, his short stories, and he wrote a biography on Joe Hill. And so I grabbed this. And I just read about the Smithsonian Institute in that book, uh, Winter Brothers. And um, this is a, a biography of this British, very wealthy man who gave his fortune to Washington, D.C. for them to establish uh, a place to, I don't know what you, what you call it, it says, um, how you put it? In the mid-1830s, the United States learned that it was a beneficiary of a strange and unprecedented to bequest. An Englishman named James Smithson, Smithson, who had never set foot in the U.S., had left all his fortune to found in Washington, quote, an establishment for the increase and diffuse of knowledge among men, end of quote. He left no further instructions, and the questions surrounding the extraordinary bequests sparked a raucous decade-long debate in Congress. So it's the founding of the Smithsonian Institute. Uh, the Lost World of James Smithson, Science Revolution, The Birth of the Smithsonian by uh, Heather Ingwing. Many, many years ago, when our kids were little, we visited the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., so found that interesting. This is a series of short stories by Ben Marcus, Leaving the Sea, short stories. I collect Ben Marcus. He wrote a very famous book called the, I think it's called The Flaming Alphabet. Uh, the Flame Alphabet, uh, Father Costume, The Age of Wire and Spring, String, which is very famous, but this is a library withdrawal. I've been reading short stories out of this. And then this came in, uh, Patti Smith, America's Punk Rock Rhapsius by Eric Wendell. Uh, I like the music of Patti Smith. She's a poet. She's quite old now, but she uh, she's quite. I, she's her diaries have. She's published poetry. Her diaries they're very famous and have won literary awards. But she still goes out and uh, she uh, performs and writes poetry and so this is about her. And then uh, out of the library they took out books on posters. I like poster art. This is Make Art Not War. Political protest posters from the 20th century. It's just protest posters. And this is, uh, you have Malcolm X and Ho Chi Minh. It's like during, uh, this was uh, 1980. Here's uh, Victory to the South African Revolution, Smash Apartheid. Uh, Stop the War Now, Imper Imper Imperialism. I'm going out of focus. Why is this thing going out of focus? There we go. So, yeah. So the person who did this is Ralph Young. And Ralph Young, he edited this, this book, Make Art Not War. And uh, he, I have a book of his in my library, Descent, The History of an American Idea by Ralph Young. So now I have two books. It says right here in the front, I think it says in the back. Um, it says it somewhere, but I can't remember now. But anyway, I wrote this book in my library. So now I have two books by Make Art Not War. These posters. George, Uncle George wants you forget, to forget failing banks, education, drugs, AIDS, Poor health care, unemployed crime, racism, corruption, have a good war. See, all kinds of protest posters. Uh, what other one here? Then there's another poster book. 
I got the Art of British Rock. Uh, 50 Years of Rock Posters, Flyers, and Handbills by Mike Evans. Uh, like this. This is... I can't remember that group. But some of these, like a Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd and... The Buzzcocks. I have a CD by the Buzzcocks. I didn't know they were British. I thought they were uh, Iron Maiden. I remember Iron Maiden, one of the early metal groups. Uh, anyway, Art of British Rock. The Art of British Rock. 50 Years of Rock Posters, Flyers, and hand Handbills. And then I got this book on war posters, weapons of mass communications. These are throughout, uh, up into the First World War. Uh, let me see here. Second World War. The different countries. Like, you know, something like that. Uh, let me see here. Let's see, here is uh, you know, posters like this. I don't know, I just like poster art. Uh, boys and girls, you can help Uncle Sam win the war. So I got this. War posters, weapons of mass communications. Send them the slam from Alabama. <laughs> uh, just all kinds of posters, if you like in that. Uh, so I got that. Then I picked up this book, Comic Book Nation, The Transformation of Youth Culture in America by Branford W. Wright. I'm not really into comic books, but I like reading about popular history and the influence of comic books on youth culture. Uh, comic books are just, they're almost like propaganda in some ways. They set forth a cultural message, especially when you, you look at comic books in the 40s and 50s. Uh, so I picked that up. So those are kind of books I got at the Book Nook. Yeah, I have other uh, art of British rock. I have other books on uh, posters of rock posters. And uh, I have records with CDs by Patti Smith and Ben Marcus. He's good to read. and. A biography on James Smiston, who's the donated money for the Smithsonian Institute. And Wallace Steiger, very famous American writer, wrote about the West. And uh, this is about his life. This is indigenous continent, epic conquest for North America. Not, yeah, contest, not conquest looking at American history from the Native American perspective. And um, he wrote a book on the Comanche, the Comanche Empire, which won the Bancroft Prize. Wish I could pronounce his name, but I can't. Then the biography on Saul Steinberg, a biography by Derry Blair. I can't pronounce the name either. And then a big book of his drawings, Sam Strandberg for the New Yorker. There's all kinds of, in the back, his covers for the New Yorker over the years. So I thought I'd show you these. I don't know, I have more books downstairs, but these are some I got last couple of weeks and today. So I just want to show these. Uh, this is Book Nook Part 2. <laughs> uh, 
uh, nothing else really going on. I mean, it was a nice day. It was kind of cloudy, sunny. It was 46 degrees. I got a book in the mail. I'll show later. And uh, I did go to thrift stores yesterday and found a couple books. I'll show those in the future videos. I just want to show you these used books. So I hope you're having a good reading week. This is a Wednesday, first day of March 2023. And I'll sign off. Until next time, bye.